growing up, I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be. And welcome back to another episode of Lit Podcast. You know how we do it, man. You know what I'm saying? We bring you the legendary people in the city. You know what I'm saying? You know what, man? I got somebody blessing the hot seat today. Man, roll up your blunts, man. Get your lighters, man. And smoke some bitch. You know what I'm talking about? This is for the motherfucking side, bitch. I got my nigga, the nigga, the only, the one and only. Froze on me in the motherfucking building, man. Hey. Everybody say tune in. Y'all don't know, man. Y'all just don't know what I got right here, man. Say like, we got some legendary right here, man. For real, for real. I'm always out there scavenging, hunting. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm gonna bring you something good. You know what I'm saying? I got you something great. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about Tony Tiger, great. Man, how you been doing, man? Man, blessed, man, man. It's good to see you, man. It's yeah, been a good minute. To see you too, man. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, good to see you. I, I told my boy. I say, man. Say, man. He like, man. I know, bro. I said, man. You know. I said, man. You gotta reach out. To him for me, man. Shout out Bunky, man. I am you know, my guy. Yeah, yeah. Shout out yeah, yeah. Shout out Bunky. You know what I'm saying? And I say, man, you gotta hook me up, my guy, man. Say, my say, he said, I said, I know that nigga, know that nigga. He was yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I said, nah, I know that nigga. Call that nigga. I say, shit, he don't remember. Yeah, but yeah. I'm still around in the trenches and shit. I'm everywhere, really. I'm, I'm, I'm here. Let's bag this up, okay? You know what I'm saying? Because I want the people to get to know you. You know what I'm saying? I want to shine a light on you, man. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it. Because we're here to honor you today. You know what I'm talking about? So all the blunts and all that, this for you. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? That's for real, for real. So, like, how did you start? You know what I'm saying? And where you from? I'm Dallas native. Uh, North Dallas, you know what I'm saying? North Dallas, okay. Stomping ground. What part? I, man, I started, we started like on the Well Chapel side, then okay. and like we ended up on Skim, and then I ended up on the Maple. I got partners all over the North, like, like projects, boy, like, back in the day. Then on the, uh, like Fir Oaks, you know what I'm saying? We, Cause I went from Kramer to Franklin to okay. Hillcrest, you know what I'm okay. saying? So, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Shout out, shout out to Hillcrest boy. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I think T Cash went to Hillcrest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh huh. Hey, T Cash. Yeah. All right, man. So what? Shout out T Cash. Yeah, shout out T Cash. You know what I'm saying? He, man, I think I think he can get ready to drop another one. He, he look like he ready. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Damn. So man, what, what was you about to say? I said nigga hot. Yeah, yeah, man. He always been hot. So man, what, what was it? What inspired you to do this music, man? We're really just just. No, everybody had the same story, you know what I'm saying? But what really just guided you to the music? Uh, I gotta say, uh, I always kind of been rapping, and we, me and my cousin Mo Ink, uh, we used to be beating on shit, rapping in the house and shit. Cause like I, I would see, see rappers and shit. Like my uncle and them, they, they uh, be having all the latest shit. Like I was too little to know. I, I used to know everything, like everything about music. So. And then one day my daddy, he had bought us this thing called a Rap Master. And it had a little scratching board on it and it had some beats already on there. Okay, other. okay. So shit, uh, he was like, hurry, y'all do that. Then we made a tape, we on that whole cussing and shit. My Uncle Mike whooped us and shit. We like, that was like the beginning. You that know was the beginning, beginning. You know then I had got locked up, I went to TYC. And uh, then Mo Ink visited me. He was like, uh, get for chill, bro. Uh, Come on home, you know, whoop de whoop. Uh, I got some, uh, he nigga spit for me. I was like, damn, bitch, you good, huh? Bitch, you done got super good, God damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then so I spit for him, we were going back and back, and then he was like, nigga, we get out, we gonna put a group together, and shit, it went up from there. Yeah, yeah. And what was the name of this group right here, man? Franchise Players. Franchise Players. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When it was Benny Connors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wait, like, say, man, say, okay, all right. So, when y'all hooked up and y'all collabed on. We hooked up with uh with Dream Circle, and uh we did a little project uh -huh. with uh Puncho, shout out Sona, and then we ended up uh locking in with Bowleg, with Stampede Records. That's the first people we. Shout like, out Bow Leg two times. Yeah, shout out my guy Leg, man. He gave first nigga gave us a real shot. You know what I'm saying? He 
he believed in us and he took us to Spliff when Spliff was on East Waco. Yeah, he Spliff was, Wayne. Yeah, Spliff Wayne. Shout out Spliff Wayne. Shout out Spliff Wayne. Out Spliff Wayne. And that's when I met Squeaky, Reggie, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Everybody you were at the crew. Yeah. Yeah, that's the big time party. Yeah, that shit, that shit changed our whole rap. Like, our whole rap lane, just like being around them niggas, being around Squeak. Right. Just being around them on the regular, just, you know, interacting with, with them niggas and shit. Like, that shit turned us up. Man, yeah. Shout out Squeaky Mac, man. Yeah, yeah. Two time, man. Right now he's doing, time. you know, he doing, he got the, you know, I don't, it's blues type, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, you know, he got, yeah, he got it going down yeah, right now. Yeah. But so, so from right there on that mix, you know what I'm saying? What led, what landed y'all, you and Mo Ink to uh, Big Wheel? Uh, well, at that time, uh, I, we had, we kind of stirred away from Stampede. A stampede was thick. Yeah, that was thick. Who, who you had? E flat. You had. Oh, uh, uh, was it? Was it uh, E? E something. You had B uh, love. You had uh, Hellraiser, Block Bleeder. It was. It was a whole whole bunch of niggas. Unibomb, bunch of niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like uh, at that time, we didn't know the game. We were just trying to. I really was following Mo Ink at that time. Right. And it, he he wanted to bust a move, so we bust a move, and uh. Like, but we ended up in the streets, and I had I started back kind of hustling. I ended up getting shot, and uh, my homegirl, uh, Madam Ice, she was like, uh, Hey man, I, I say, bro, I'm tell you, I, I know some niggas, Big Wheel, Rodney Wheeler, bro, that's my partner, and and Black over there. I'm telling you, they gonna, man, you y'all niggas to blow up over there. I was like, Man, I'm, I'm tired of that rap shit, fuck this right, shit, right? Right, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, This shit ain't, I don't want to do that shit. So she talked me into going over there. We went over there, I met Black. You know what I'm saying? This nigga right here and shit. Shout out Black. You yeah, yeah, Black Numbers. And uh, it went up from there. You know what I'm saying? We That nigga Rizzo took us in and. Yeah, Rizzo gave y'all another look. What, what made you, like, let's back up. You said you wanted to quit rap. What um, made you want to um, quit rap? Uh, At that time, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I was dealing with a lot of shit with like family, you know, they like, uh, you need to get a job. I come from a strong background of, you need to get, you, you gotta go to work, you right. know what I'm saying? Uh, you can't sleep here. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta go to work. Ain't nothing wrong with work, mm -hmm. but, but like work on a job for a living that rap, that ain't gonna work out. Right. This is what you need to do, you know what I'm saying? Right. I came from that, so. I just went against it though because right. I believe. Right, you know right. What I'm so you like you really wanted people to believe. You wanted your family to really believe in your dreams and push you towards your dreams yeah, instead of guide your way or, and steer you away from your dreams. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I feel that. I feel that. So, so when you got introduced to Big Wheel, you fired it up right here, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what tell the blunts finna go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we both need, man. We get lit, nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, be your journey. You know what I'm saying with Big Wheel. It was awesome. Okay, let's talk about Big Wheel. What, how, how did how did Rizzo decide to say, okay, I want to take y'all too long, and then take you in? What was the process of him putting y'all in the studio? Well, at first, that nigga very complicated. That nigga did not let us rap right out the first. The first he let us rap to see what we sound like. He liked us, but like he made us sell CDs, just different shit. He made us kind of like. Get a feel of the game before we can have a chance to put out a project. So we had to learn how to sell shit first, and then we went in to rapping. So that that nigga real strategic. So shout out Rodney. What Rodney right now, man? Uh, I think he in the clip. I I seen him. I actually seen him, man. Man, R.I.P. Denise, his his wife just passed. Uh, Took time. Yeah, man. When uh when they was uh pulling the plug on my wing, uh ain't cost nothing to be real. Nah, real shit. <laughs> Only real niggas know that. I seen you. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Only if you love, yeah, if you love my nigga, yeah. you know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you're not real nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My nigga pull up with your nigga with that can. My nigga hug you. My nigga real and he'll wrap that shit to you. My nigga real talk. like real shit, nigga for real. Real talk. Yeah. <coughs> so like uh. I seen Rizzo that day. We ain't seen each other because when I left Big Wheel, I kind of I was in a dark place. I put out a little project and it was on some some you know what I'm saying some I'm mad child type shit. So I ain't kind of seen him <coughs> since that. Right. God worked in mysterious ways, and so I seen him. I was like, "Dang, you going to go see Mo?" 
I ain't finna pull a plug on him. He was like, what? He was like, man, they finna pull a plug on my wife. And we kind of broke down at the same time. I never thought that I we'll meet back up like, like that. that. Man, that was crazy. Boy, that's deep, man. That was, that was real deep. That deep, man. Cause man, I told you right before they pulled the plug on Mo Three, I was with. I was just. I mean, not, not Mo Three. I'm sorry. Everybody's dying. I mean, Mo Ink. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's get that shit straight. But you know what I'm saying? <coughs> when they, uh, I was with them. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, I, I was staying before I came over here. I was staying right there on. Uh, Barwell and Overton, right. you know what I'm saying? You know, that's his stomping ground, you know what I'm talking about? Right there, I see him every day, you know what I'm saying? I even, I even recorded his last song. Man. I even got his last song. Whoa, Man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, real nigga shit. I'm the one who gave him <coughs> that damn CD duplicated, a big ass bitch he was carrying around the shit, you know what, yeah, what I'm saying? Like, that's that was my hustling motherfucker. Yeah, they hustling. Yeah, that's my nigga. That's my boy. boy. Yeah. That's my boy. So, Mike. How, how did how did how did Big Wheel? Okay, you say Big Wheel had you out there selling the CDs. That process, what was the feeling like getting out there <coughs> selling that first CD and then get, get you know getting that reaction from somebody once they when they ride off and play? Cause you know, cause you know, back in Dallas, it was it you know it was it was hard. You know, when you sell a CD, some people might not buy it. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. you get that person who buy it yeah. and jam it right in front of you. Or yeah. you had that one to come and just. <laughs> yeah, I really at first we didn't. I had to. I had. We, nothing didn't really catch on at first. Right. And so I made this like this little underground song with X Man, R. P. X Man too, man. Okay. Okay. Uh, I made this like this little underground song with him, off the symphony beat, some throwback shit, and they started picking up in the streets. But I I didn't really notice that type of shit until like bump the senior Cadillac. That's when I noticed like, damn, nigga jamming my shit. He jamming my shit. Hey, nigga, that's me, nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that shit was crazy. Like everywhere, like nah, this the whole hood was bumping that shit. Man, like you know what I'm saying? Out the city, in the city, that shit was bananas. How did okay? What, what, what was the process of doing it? Bump that in the Cadillac? Like how did that, that even come about? You that know shit what I'm saying? Crazy, man. Let's let's go down, man. How did that right. even come about? Okay, first, see, uh, Rizzo came in the door one day. He was like, uh. I, it was me and Iceberg. Shout out Iceberg. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you fuck with Iceberg too, cause yeah. he had him on the track. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, he came in there. He was like, "Hey, I, I want y'all to make a song about a Cadillac." And then me, I was like, "Man, I ain't thinking about that right now." He was like, "Bro, that's a black man's ride." You know what I'm saying? He got the come on, nigga. I'm trying to tell you, I right, bet. No so, stop. Yeah, hey, yeah. So it wasn't it wasn't shit to me because I actually had did this song with the Rally Boys. Long time ago, but, oh. but like uh, I think Cottonmouth kind of changed. Shout out Cottonmouth, he kind of like changed the hook. I can't remember how it went. It didn't. It didn't really work out. But right time, right beat. Right, right. And I heard that beat. Shout out Kenny. He, the beat was jamming. I knew to just keep it simple from doing shows and going out and seeing what people like. Cause I'm studying this shit. So I started learning, man, keep this shit simple. Don't complicate the hooks and all this shit. Right. Keep it simple where they can chant this shit with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I started going that way with it. Man, how you laying bun on that bitch? Man, that was crazy. He was uh he came to the studio to do a song with D Rod. Shout out D Rod, uh played in the NFL. Him and uh, a couple of his cats. And they took a smoke break and Rizzo was like, uh, hey bun, I want you to hear something. And he played it, and he was like, this bitch jamming. He was like, who is that? He said, that, 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 that young nigga right there? Boy, I was like a kid in the kids. I was like, oh, that nigga? Boy, I was like, that shit dope. I was like, oh. And then he was like, you get on there? He was like, nigga, we talking my legs. Why wouldn't I get on it? Right. Like, boom, I was like, hell yeah, yeah. So they got the paperwork right and all that shit. And uh, boom, like, where the liquor store at? We was downtown on Canton and Malcolm X and Spirits Liquor Store right okay. there. He was like, uh. Walked with me to the liquor store. So we just walked and kind of got acquainted with each other. I ain't try to be no groupie or nothing. Just, right, right. Just hit down the earth cat, man. Right. Shout out Bun B, man. man yeah, two times, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because, but still, you with Bun, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You when like, I walked in the store yeah, with him, right. everybody recognized him. I was like, dang, that's Bun. I thought I, I wanted to see the reaction. Right, nigga right. Was, hey, nigga, that's Bun B. Right. What's up, Bun? Right. But that store treated me like royalty after that shit. Like, that shit man. Crazy. <laughs> so. This bump this in the Cadillac, man, it took you to a whole nother plateau, man. Like, Super. like, when did you really recognize that you was on another level when that song came out? Uh, when I opened up for Yin Yang Twins in Knoxville, Tennessee, mm. it was like 20, 30,000 people there, like white girls crying. Oh my God, it's frozen on you. I'm like, what the fuck? 
Hey, right, that shit was like nah, right like, hand to the man. Nah, that shit was crazy. I was like, that's when I knew like this shit real. Man, I like, know that bitch was real. I knew, I know, cause they had me when K one hundred four was bumping that. When that bitch was on, I knew, I knew it was real. Then yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The big wheel, and cause I remember seeing big wheel truck. Just yeah. riding through the hood, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With the big wheel on that motherfucker. I used to thought that hoe was so player, you know what I'm saying? I said, nigga, got D's on the motherfucker. Yeah, uh, yeah. uh, 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 three wheeler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, how did you. So, okay. So, even before you even got that bun, you had I already had a little flip track. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, how did you, how'd you even get the little flip track? Uh, Rizzo, he was already. Uh, Back and forth with Flip, cause at that time, uh, Black he was he was an artist on the Big Wheel too. Okay. And him and Flip had a relationship already, and I was like the new cat on the block. You know what I'm saying? They just Black and all them niggas welcomed me in. You know what I'm saying? Cause like at that time, Mo Ink had uh, left and went to Million Records. Okay. So I'm over here. This is my new home. Right. So I started locking in with them niggas, and that's how I met Mike Jones and you know different. Yeah, you niggas. got the you had a hot one with Mike. Yeah, you know oh my God, saying? shout yeah. out Mike. Yeah, Mike shout Jones. out Mike. Yeah, he got the money train now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got the hot one. Man, so wait a minute. Okay, cause you cause you got a track record. Cause your, your track <coughs> record long. You know what I'm saying? Like okay, oh, yeah. Twister. Oh yeah, Twister. How, how do you get Twister, man? man? Man. Did you even did you even get to work with him on yeah, that track? Yeah, that was awesome, man. Like, we smoked and everything together. Like that shit was crazy. What that? What kind of gas? That nigga he had his own gas. <coughs> nah, we we, oh, we okay, fired him okay, up. Okay, 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 okay. We made sure we uh, put him on the table. Yeah, yeah, side. put him on the table. <laughs> I'm good. He hit that shit like about five times, and he was good. You know what I'm saying? So what was that experience like in the studio? That was like that was one of the best experiences. I, I ain't never seen no shit before. when they when he came. The security guard niggas came in. Nigga checked everywhere. Nigga had guns and shit. Nigga was like clear. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then this nigga walked in. This nigga like that's my first time seeing like like that real jewelry. Right, like right. I was looking at this nigga like, damn, this nigga trip. <laughs> nigga <laughs> trip. I'm talking about like like lights on. <laughs> like man, like nah, for real. That my first time seeing that type jewelry. I was like, damn, that nigga for real. With you. That for real with it. So what? So what was his? What was so? How was y'all doing in the, in the song? You know what I'm saying? Was you coming with concepts? What he already had this shit written or what? He already. He he was like what he told me. Uh, he said he was like uh, he already wrote his shit in the room. You right. know what I'm saying? He was down here for a little bit and uh, when we sipping the beat and shit, he was like he already had his shit ready. So he went in there and, like he worked quick too. It took him like three times. And he, when I pull up in a black Cadillac, I was like, damn. Got that hoe. Nah, for that nigga hit that bitch. Let's say that man, that nigga Twister said that, that that nigga smoking gun, mm -hmm. man. I always wanted to know how his recording product. I wanted to know if he always do like zero do, like punch in and layer it and shit like that, or do he go all the way through? He go all the way through. Ooh. Like that nigga bad. Like him and Bun, but Bun was the tightest I ever seen. Bun B, he don't he don't use no paper, no nothing. He he off the dome and he kicked the verse first. And then told him to erase that because he was cussing. He said, nah, we gonna get a little homie on the radio. I feel I got chills on my body when he yeah. said that. Yeah. I was like, damn, this this some next level shit. Yeah. He kicked that verse, like it was magic. So you talking about paperwork when y'all was doing the paperwork and shit like this. So back then, what type of paperwork was y'all y'all was doing? Y'all had what you already had with ASCAP and BMIs and publishing and stuff back then? Yeah, but at the time, see. Everything with Bun went straight, but when we brought Twister aboard, it's, that's when shit went sour because uh, we didn't, like, it was a lot of things we didn't understand in the game, like getting clearance on niggas and shit. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. So, like, so they were taxing? Like, uh, nah, like uh, Atlantic Records that Twister was under at the time, we didn't get clearance through them. Right. So that kind of screwed us, when, you know what I'm saying, through the big wheel shit. Right. So they came in trying to sue. And all that shit, so but I'm still fighting this shit right now. You what? know what I'm saying? Hey yo. Hey yo. Well, just from the twister one or from the bun B for, too? For the for the for the uh for the remix and for the uh, original version. Hey yo. God damn. Hey, yeah. Ooh, I ain't shit. Up either. I know shit. Them lawsuits and they be dreading them out too. They, they don't want to get in their royalties, bro. Yeah, that shit yeah, crazy. Yeah, that shit crazy. Hey, make sure y'all fight for y'all shit, man. Yeah, man. Real, I, I tell everybody, I always make sure, like, you doing any music, 
Make sure you get your ass cap, your BMI. Make sure you get your ass cap writers and your ass cap publishing. Thanks. And then get your BMI publishing. If somebody gets you in CSAC, get your CSAC publishing. Yeah, and then go to Harry Fox and get your overall publishing. Then go to Sound Exchange and get your mechanical royalties and everything like that. You got to get that shit, man. Thanks. Like, that shit is so important. And then when you make your deals with these people, then you know what you splitting the pie. Nah, you know you shit. know what you getting, you know what I'm saying? Because I know big names like you guys, I know they... They getting what twenty five? Yeah, they, they, they eat. They eating. Yeah, they so eating. The, I mean, I actually, I actually got to see some money from that, from that song, Already. from my CD, when my CD first dropped. Right. Like pre sales and shit. Right. Like chick came, couple of few chicks, some nice bitches. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, but you know how the game go. Like I didn't know the game totally back then. Right. That's why shit's so important. Like I didn't know that. If he do this for me when it's time when the cook come, I'm like, damn, this shit just like hustling. Right. Damn, right. I started grasping that concept. That's when I started backing away and started learning how to create my own type of Right, yeah, your situation. own lane. Yeah. And said, yeah, okay, so, like, what's some things that you learned along your journey that then that, that helped you through your process right now? What I learned the most is shit to stay humble, man. Right. Because like, you never know well, like life will take you, you know what I'm saying? Like, and if you want to stay relevant, shit, you, you better pay attention. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, a lot of niggas be wanting to jump back in the game, but you gotta be relevant. You know what right, I'm saying? It's right. as simple as that. Right. You know the relevancy. So man, what's so like? What's some things you wish you would have known along your your the journey? Man, first thing is know about this paperwork. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's for real. That's the first thing. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Shit. Cause I seen I I I've been I've been next to to the biggest. You know what I'm saying? To all type of niggas. You know right. what I'm saying? Slim thug. All type of niggas. So, and to see where I'm at right now, still grinding, still trying to make it happen. Uh, but one thing about it, I, I tell myself, I ain't, I ain't. I'm always gonna rap. Right. But. I got other, I got other young niggas now. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? I can focus this energy into. You know what I'm saying? Right. So what you, so you trying to what? Uh, I got a whole plan. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, you trying to bring yeah. them out? So what you, who you got? Man, first I got T Mac, D O A. You know what I'm saying? Then my uh my young partner uh F G L Cheeto. You know what I'm saying? P J Hammer. He got his own shit. Law Militia. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay. It's, it's like a whole clan of, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Circle U, you know what I'm saying? See some, everybody over there, you know what uh -huh. I'm saying? But, uh, Big Clan. Big Clan, big clan shit. okay. Hey, we working on a movie, too. Oh, movie? Yeah. What? It's called uh, The Cable Guy. The Cable Guy, okay. Yeah. What, what, can, I get some, can I get some details? Okay, it's 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 about a nigga uh, got fired from the cable job, so now he doing bootleg cables and shit. It's funny. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I got to say, man, say, man. <laughs> hey, hey, nigga still doing bootleg fire sticks and shit all <laughs> nah, day. Shit. <laughs> Real shit. Niggas real like, I hook your five stick up, nigga. Real shit. shit. Nah, for real, nah, that's gonna be funny, man. We we go, we can get that shit at. Shit, we're gonna try to put that shit on uh Amazon Prime shit. Okay. All this shit. Like everybody, yeah, okay, everybody got the hustle going on, man. Yeah. Everybody got the hustle going on. So like so what was what what was the the turnaround from Big Wheel? Cause I remember when when we were come when we was coming up, I remember you was at you was at a peak, you know what I'm saying? And I know like you you was hard you you, you was hard to get get a hold to because you were doing man, shows and everything man. like that. So what really what really just changed Big Wheel, man, and, and, and made y'all separate? Well, uh, I wouldn't say we separated. It uh, Rizzo he had kind of like a fed case. And when he when he went down, it's like everything started kind of kind of crumbling. Everybody started looking at differences, and you know, right. I I, I I'm gonna speak for myself. I know I did. I started looking at like uh, when uh, when Lil Shine was brought in. That's my guy. Shout out Lil right, Shine. Yeah, Lil Shine had a high album. Yeah, check out my lean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, around that time, uh, focuses started being shifted. And I, I'm honestly, I think I didn't understand what I moved. Right. You know what I'm saying? We all need to shine. O2, Lil Richard, they needed to shine. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Young Tate, they right. needed to shine. You know what I'm saying? Doughboy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody yeah, so. Doughboy. Yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah, okay. So it was just all about you know the the, the, the misplacement. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And then okay, it's all about growth and development, really. Basically, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Growing. Yeah. The, yeah. Okay. I feel you. But so everybody came out. And got everybody got their own little entities though. Their own little labels and shit. Right. And, Shit, that shit jamming though. So who you been having your eyes on lately? You know what I'm saying in the city. Have you been peeping new people out in the city? The new talent. Yeah, have you been seeing some new talent? You ain't been uh, catching no new waves. Man, I've been uh, I've been really just checking out my partner uh, PJ Hammer and uh, LGL Cheeto. Them niggas nice. Okay, nice. Okay, they check them out. You gonna plug me on something new? You and know my uh, I'm my cousin Azariah Slim. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He got that. He got that smooth player shit. Cause you know everybody on this other shit. So mm -hmm. he coming with the cool shit. It's called. It's called Cool World. Right. Shout out Cool World. Shout out man, two time man. Who you always wanted to work with in Dallas that you never got to work with? Man, I gotta say. Cause you did Lucci. You got Lucci. Yeah, that's my guy. Shout yeah, out yeah, Lucci. Yeah, uh -huh, cool. yeah, uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Always wanted to work with uh Paul. Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul. Man, that nigga. That nigga one of the best. Ooh. Lyricists come up out this bitch, man. I don't have to sell dough no more. That nigga bad, man. It all the way to the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Pops and Paul too. Yeah. My little know. partner on that song, we ball in Texas. Who? When, they, when they say dudes, dudes, Becky. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Trash style. And my nigga Joseph Kim, R.I.P. to him. Oh, okay, okay. We used okay. to be in TYC together and shit. You know what I'm saying? I was down there with Charleston White too. God damn, yeah, wow. yeah. damn, wait, wait, wait a minute, what? Pump the motherfucker break yeah, yeah. I'm down over. You down over with Charleston right well, what he was doing? At that time, uh when I came I came What that station you at? Uh I was in Guinness, Texas. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, that, okay. That, that okay. motherfucker. I, yeah, I had like a ten year sentence. And uh at that time, like, I was kinda new. And uh like he was like on his ledger. He stayed in like lockdown security. A lot at that time. You know oh, what okay, saying? okay, okay, okay. Well, he, he was running shit though. I say he was running shit. Yeah, he was. Little Shh. lad nigga. They say Charles White was running shit. Okay, shit got him pro long as they. God damn. Like on some like, right? Like, he called shot. Right. Uh, square work in solitary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, say man, that's some Texas shit, man. Yeah. So okay, so who would you always want to work with in the industry that you ain't work with? Man. Okay, you got something. Like who? Shit. Big Creek. That nigga man, nice. what you know about Big Creek? Man, I jam all types of man. Nah, I already know, man. I mean, my your, baby. your music, yeah, I already know, shit. Because your music, I already, it, it already. Yeah. If you go back and listen to any of your old music, it's, it's already it's spelled all in there. Yeah, for Square Business. You know what I'm saying? 8 Ball, my favorite. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't gonna lie. You know that what I'm saying? Spoke. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, A ball my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Nigga say he lit. Nigga, you ain't lit. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So yeah. Yeah, A ball, yeah, that, that's that's my boy right there, you know what I'm saying? He gon he gonna get on a he gonna get on the track and he gonna yeah. open up your mind, you know what I'm saying? And that's what you used to do, especially when you was on franchise player. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you 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 was giving game. Man, and appreciate you, that. Yeah, man. you know what I'm saying? Like nah for real, like, you know what I'm saying? I can see the growth, you know what I'm saying, from franchise player to <coughs> Froze only, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, yeah. and, and shit like that. But I can know on franchise player, you was really, you was like, you know what I'm saying, that yeah. go, you know what I'm saying? But then I wanna know like what is what what what's what's things that that you feel that hindered you? You know what I'm saying? Uh a lot of things hindered me. Uh lack of vis uh, visibility, not being visual, uh right. Uh, not not want to adapt to the uh, to way how you know because in this hip hop shit shit move quick time change not want to adapt shit like that all that shit hinder a nigga you know what I'm saying not right. want to network with niggas and right. shit you know right. what I'm saying right you know what I'm saying networking is key especially yeah, like yeah. today you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying that's you why know. I'm on all that shit I name like right so <laughs> what so what so what advice you you would give somebody you know what I'm saying what I I I would say uh. Man, if you trying to do this shit, the best thing you need to do, you need to stay networking. You need to uh, push your brand like never before. You are the brand, whatever you doing, whatever you pushing. Uh, you got to stay hungry, stay consistent. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even when you don't want to do this shit, you got a headache, whatever. You know you got to do this shit regardless. You got to make sacrifices, all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get there, because you're going to have to go through the dark to get through the light. 
Facts. Facts. So who is who is froze only? Man, that shit crazy. Like I came over that shit like like back in the day. I used to be like a wet head nigga, man. Right, right. <laughs> I was smoking that wet with my partner them, and I used to get stuck. And them niggas used to be like, that nigga froze like a bitch. All right. That nigga froze, fool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I, when I would rap, I started incorporating that shit. You know, this was back in the 90s. Right, you know what right, saying? right. Oh, so that's that Freddy Cougar nigga. Yeah. That, ooh, that nigga, that's that juice juice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was different time, different time yeah, back different then. Time, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, I wouldn't dare fuck with that shit now. Hell no, nah, oh, shit. <laughs> nah, hell, hell no. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I kind of took it from that and trying to make it some good and some rap. Like nigga, I'm the coldest nigga now. You know right. what I'm saying? From I took it from that, from uh, from nigga laughing at me saying I'm froze, I'm stuck. Right. You know what I'm saying to to some good shit. Took it to some rap shit. Man, who'd you grow up listening to in Dallas like that? In Dallas? Yeah. Who'd you grow up listening to? Man, I gotta say, like Gator Man. Uh, Blowfly, like, cause Ooh. Blowfly, like, kind of my kinfolk. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Okay, shout Blowfly, out shout out Blowfly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I kind of like in my family reunion when we, when me and Mo first started rapping, uh, Blow uh, walked up to us with the mic, and he was like, "Her, y'all get that bit." And kinfolk spit. After kinfolk spit, Blow paid me the mic, and I knew I'd be cussing a lot. My granny and them, everybody there. Yeah. I was like, nah, uh-uh. Uh, they were like, ah. They <laughs> fuck with me. Like, everybody was like, ah, nigga, you didn't even get the mic, bro. So after that, I turned to an animal. I'm rapping on everything. Right. I'm rapping in front of everybody. Yeah, they gave the, they gave the juice. Later. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Both flies yeah. gave him the juice that night. Yeah, yeah. Shout out, blow that <laughs> Shout out. You know what I'm saying? And they said, gave the man, both fly. Oh, man, you had a, yo, you got a nice collection. So who else? You grew up listening to outside of Dallas, you know. Outside what I'm of Dallas, yeah. Who you grew up listening to? Uh, outside I, miles, I listen to a lot of down south music too, like uh, Zero, uh, a lot of screwed, a lot of all the screwed up click members. You yeah, know what I'm saying? All the Swisher House members. All that. Uh, who was your favorite Swisher House? Shit, Slim Thug. Slim Thug, all right, all right. But yeah. the nigga who who I like spit them balls. It got to be a uh, 50 50 twin and chameleon. Oh, 50 yeah. 50, yeah, yeah. Uh, Shout out them boys. Ed Chameleon, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Who, 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 I like J Dow too. Yeah, J Dow go hard too. Okay, who's your, who your favorite uh, 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 SUC? SUC? I got to say, uh, it got to be Kiki on the freestyle. Okay, okay. But like, I like Chris Ward. Like, Ooh, that nigga went Chris that nigga Ward on the nigga. Is stupid. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, that nigga just dropped one on y'all. That yeah. went over a lot of y'all niggas' head right there. Nigga, nigga bad. You know what I'm saying? Three two, Mister Three two, Three two. Yeah, RIP Three two. Yeah, RIP Three two. Say he was out there writing the help writing him for Snoop. Him and Mo, uh, uh, him and Mo Ink. They had a, like a face off. Boy, that nigga Three what? two went in. Mo was on his ass, but <laughs> three was going. Man, what it was like working with with Mo Ink, man? Let's talk about Mo Ink, man. Cause I got, you know what I'm saying? We gotta show my nigga love, you know what I'm saying? Rest in yeah, peace, Mo Ink. Long live, you know what I'm saying? Long Ink Mo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He, uh, well, Wireframe posted the track he yeah, just shout did. Out yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Wireframe posted that track him and him, uh, him and he did back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That my bitch name. nice, you know what I'm saying? So what it was like working with Mo, man? See, uh. It was real exciting. He would always motivate me. Like he always, he was a jokester. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember, I remember the days we ain't had no money. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like we was at the studio just rapping out, like making song after song. And he was like, "Say, Kim Fo, my bitch just bought me some food. I'm warming it up in the microwave." I don't get it out of her. I get it out of her some trash she done got out of the thing. He make it, he, he, you know, he was a jokester. I'm like, this nigga hurt hell like a bitch. He just, he be cutting up. Yeah, he don't stay clowning, though. Oh, well, that nigga is a clown, man. Say, that nigga a clown, man. Yeah, yeah. Man, he was always the light of the party, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey you know, hey, man. He so, gonna challenge any nigga yeah, that wanna rap. Yeah, yeah, he gonna go. He gonna yeah. go. You can't no. even listen to another. You listen to somebody else. Nigga, cut that shit out. Cut that shit out, love. Yeah, yeah, that's his word, love. You know what I'm saying? He gonna have his own seeds written on that hoe. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? He gonna draw on that hoe, everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's my copy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And like, and man, say, 
And like That's why I'm back. Yeah, I gotta do it for man. Gotta you gotta, you gotta, yeah. Somebody gotta represent that man. You got, and plus you gotta realize this too. It's one thing. I, <coughs> I, that's why I'm. T that's for 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 y'all to understand what this platform is about, man. Mm -hmm. It's it's about you legends. Y'all don't understand. Y'all left a stain on a nigga brain. You know what I'm saying? Sure. On a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all left an impact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's it's it's, it's <coughs> people like us. You know what I'm saying? Supposed to give y'all that platform. You know what I'm saying? And let y'all, you know what I'm saying? Speaking of that, what? you just made me think of something. How I came up with I done beat the block up in the old school slab. Right. How I came up with that, like, since we were doing a song about a Cadillac, I'm a big Gator Man fan. So when uh when he was doing I done walked the block till my feet hurt the slab, right. he talking about he talking about a lack when he talking about Christine. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I, I was trying to figure out how can I put it in another way. Cause I like we looked up to that nigga. We came right. from our ball players. We came over franchise players. Right. Kenfolk, he used to be, we ball players. I'm like, nah, we don't still Kenfolk no shit. Right, right, right. So that's when we formed franchise players. Man, you know so Jewel, he just dropped some. Yeah, yeah. Man, you gotta drop some more. You gotta drop me some more shit, man. You got, you got sprinkle with me, cause man, that's some real shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause Gator Man was the force to reckon with real coming time. up. It's coming up in our era too. You know what I'm saying? Like and when he talking about Christine, yes, he talking about the car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's the and that Gator Man said that's the bitch he loved. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's my I love him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I hug him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't a detail nigga, you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like it, like nigga in the like swim well. You know what I'm saying? Not real shit. We got a video. We finish. Uh, it's nice. It's on my uh, my latest project. I dropped 5411 uh, Froze on it. Right. Uh, it's on all sites and shit too. So man, how many how many how many projects you think you got? <laughs> man. Ooh, Jewel with, with out like what I put like. And all. And all shit probably. Then what like, you put out? Probably mixtapes. Mixtapes and everything. Everything. You know what I'm saying? Probably about by ten, like, like this, and like that a nigga can get some money off of, but like all together, nah, it's more than that. Well, black on her like shit. Well, I was about sixteen. Oh, that, that underground count underground uh, shit underground on the street. Shit. Well, damn, you going up to about twenty one. That's what I'm finna say. Like twenty one, twenty two. That's yeah. still your project. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. you still got ten. And you say you make money off of. Yeah, it, it's crazy because like uh. People when they see me, they'll quote quote shirt and shit. Man, what's up with it? Bitch say my name right. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, I didn't think that shit was gonna catch on. I was just saying that cause niggas didn't understand how to say my name. You right. know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, 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 I thought it was just shit, yeah. I thought it was like you starting to get in the song, you get, get, get in it, you know. <laughs> that's mean that bitch right. Nah, that's some that's some real shit. You know what I'm saying? So like, where you see yourself five years from now? Shit, making movies, writing cartoons, you know what I'm saying? That's that's my focus right now. I'm trying right. to get into the filming and, and uh really just trying to perfect, trying to learn how to be a boss, you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh I feel like uh I got a lot to learn, you know what I'm saying? Uh but I'm not afraid to admit that and I'm I'm steady jabbing. Right. Put right. it like that. Man, I feel that man. It's out of your catalog that you got. All that cat, like, what's your, what's your, what's your pride and joy? Which one your pride and joy? Man, I gotta say that Ally and, Joseph Mills song. And man. why? It was just the way I, the, uh, the, the way I delivered it was so smooth. You know what I'm saying? And it gotta be Cadillac. Cadillac first. Cadillac. Yeah. Is that the, oh, you still your shit to this man, day? I, I can't, okay. I can't go nowhere. I can't go nowhere and not do that, and they nigga gonna be mad. Damn, nigga, you ain't do the Cadillac song, nigga. Come on, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's like, that yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's just like Gator Man said. I can't go nowhere, nigga. Talking about I gotta do or walk the block to the yeah. feet. Like <laughs> that shit took me a lot of places though. I done been in jail, and niggas set me down and told me stories. I remember I came in, couldn't get nothing on my on my money on my on my wristband. Nigga, nigga, I got you, nigga, nigga, this nigga that's frozen on it, nigga, I got whatever you, whatever you want, nigga. Nah, that shit was crazy. Like, <laughs> so what you got going on right now, man? Like, I see you got your merch going oh, on. Oh, man. You know what I'm 93 saying? gas, man. Like, this is it right here. Let me say 93 gas. Nah, square business, man. 93 gas is the way. I know what I'm saying? Gas. 
this our clothing, this this where you we can find this where you can stream our uh, mixtape. You know what I'm oh, saying? Shit. Good Petro. You know what I'm saying? We got our kind of merch jackets. You know what I'm saying? If you, I know y'all have seen this stamp, this logo. We 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 putting this. What that what that bumper stick at, Blake? <laughs> Got a and they got the gas in that motherfucker. Yeah, this right here, or we everywhere with this here. Yeah, I love them stickers, bro. Yeah. Nigga, what? Yeah. yeah, they got some shit going on. Man, I say, man, like, I so, so what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the what you, you say we can get the project and everything right here. So yeah. you gotta make sure you plug that, tell them where they can get that at. Hey, man, uh, good Petro, the mixtape, man, you can get it on Spotify, Apple Music, all sites, you know what I'm saying, YouTube, whatever, you know what I'm saying, we got videos, all that shit, man, you can check, check us out. You know what I'm talking about, yeah, y'all make sure y'all check that out, you know what I'm saying, I'm putting yeah. that motherfucker right here, you know what I'm saying, God damn it, while we smoke one more. Oh, man. So, so, you know what I'm saying, so, like, Right now, you know what I'm saying? You say you got your, your CEO thing going on yeah. and everything like that. You got the clothing line and everything like the that. The clothing line, I got, I got like four projects, music, like shout out BSG Ken. I got a mixtape coming with him. You know what I'm saying? I got a mixtape coming with T-Mex. Shout out T-Mex, okay. DOA. Okay. Okay. I got another shit. We dropping uh, Nigel Gas to Volume 2. You know what I'm saying? Work. And then me and Black, we got some shit. We drop. It's a lot of work. We work. We stay active. You know what I'm saying? I seen you. I seen you be putting the videos out too. I've been checking your yeah. video out on YouTube and stuff like Appreciate that. It. So it. like through all this, you know what I'm saying? Who's really been having your back? Who really been been your corner? Who been really rooting for you? You know what I'm saying? And really been supporting. I gotta say, uh, I gotta say, my boy Black. You know what I'm saying? Black. Uh, she is my girl. <laughs> nah, for real. She stayed out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is ten toes. <laughs> and, uh, she my kids. Right. You know what I'm saying. Right. I start learning. Uh, as I get older, you know what I'm saying. You know, we live for different stuff. You know, that's way more important. Right. Than the streets. Fuck them streets. You know what I'm saying. So, I'm a uh, I'm a family man now. You know what I'm saying. It's different. Right on. Okay. So if you can turn back the hands of time. What time would you turn it back to? I would turn it back right when the when the shit started taking out. Right when it started taking out. Right there. Right there. You know why? Why? Because I know what to do now. You know at that mean? time, like I just I was having it my way. I'm getting paid for features and shit. I'm I didn't think this shit was gonna end. You know what I'm right, saying? I'm, right. I'm I like living a life like like I'm right there. Right. You know what I'm saying? That shit was crazy. So, but like my yeah. like this nigga, he black and tell me like, hey, you need to come on, nigga. This, this shit ain't gonna last. You better come on. Right. Right. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, nigga, we good. Damn, black tell you, black right there, yeah. say man, say get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and stack it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Right. And I I said I'd have been there, so I know. You know what I'm saying? I know it. So, like. Right now, you know what I'm saying, I do these top threes. You know what I'm saying? I wanna know what's the top three strands of weed that you like to smoke. Okay then. Let's go down through the my top strand. It got to be uh OG. Okay. Of course. Jizzle. Jizzle. That jizzle is the best, you know what I'm saying? Jizzle my nigga. And uh I'm smoking for sure. White runs. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Okay, right, Russ. All right, I can squeeze that in there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because right. I, I, like I like to taste. I'm a taste consumer. Okay, all right. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Uh, consumer, it's a consumer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but see, <coughs> I, but see, I can't, but I, I, I like, I like, Crumble and all that other shit though. So oh yeah, oh, you yeah. like the oh okay, you like the crumbles and shit. Yeah, they yeah. got some nice crumble out there. If you find the ones that really gonna get you lit. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. But niggas be trying to, you know, niggas out here, man, you know, Dallas, you know how we do it. Yeah, you know yeah. how I'm raising up in Dallas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, jugging, yeah. jugging for this, jugging for this. It's <laughs> going <laughs> For real. It's <laughs> like, for real. What's that, what's that, what's that number three? Shit, I gotta say, that real gelato. 
Okay, yeah, the, yeah, the, okay, the, the original, yeah, 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 okay, I can give you that, yeah. I can give you that, you know what I'm saying, I used to fuck with that AK-47, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and that motherfucking R a Rhino, you know what I'm saying, yeah, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah, I'm going, yeah, yeah, I like that pressure, I didn't like that cat piss, Ooh. you know what I'm saying, I used to, <laughs> Yeah. Let's stop telling my age around this bitch. Well, anyway. <laughs> master, uh, the master Kush. Oh, that Master Kush, man. Yeah. You know what, man? I think I had a bad experience with the Master Kush, man, one time. But then I had, I came across with some, some nigga had something and he was like, I like, all right, this bitch like some OG. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So then I had got, so I like, I got jugged mm -hmm. <laughs> and finessed. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it you know what I'm saying? To it yeah, it happened to a yeah. nigga sometimes. So, okay, number three. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to say number three rapper because that's so easy. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. You know what I'm saying? I like these female rappers too. What female rapper you like? Uh, I like uh, Erica Banks. She type. Shout out, Erica. Yeah. Eb. Shout out, Eb. <laughs> yeah. All that shit. Uh, it's another little chick. Uh, damn, what's her name? The uh, uh, not the mul. I like the mulatto. Oh, you like mulatto? Yeah, yeah, mulatto. Yeah. Okay, mulatto. Yeah, it's another yeah, little big chick. Lotto now. Big, yeah, lotto yeah, big lotto now. Big lotto now. Yeah, 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 big lotto. <laughs> Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, a lot of hard, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I remember when she was doing that competition, she came up, you know what I'm saying, with Jermaine Dupri. I mm -hmm. like, I, I, say she, I knew she was going to be a fourth director with them. And, uh, what's my, uh, my, at the D, though, uh, Butter, uh, Butter Go Hard, she be spitting, like. You heard that butter? My, oh, my mama, bro. You heard like, that butter? If you don't <laughs> see her, like, in person, like, she. Yeah. <laughs> she going down yeah, through there like yeah, say yeah. You know, so you like, say hey 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 black I black you got one black <laughs> yeah yeah dirty black nah, yeah 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 shout out dirty black nah real shit for real yeah yeah, 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 yeah black you yeah. got one my boy <laughs> nah, real for real, you know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of them out there, man. Say, man, you gotta check out, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, hey, say, say, man, hey, man, say, man. It's a lot of y'all out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you gotta try to check out Chrissy V, you know what I'm saying? She go hard, OG Chrissy. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? She, she got go one when she just fresh. dropped with uh, uh, Gator. And then uh, DD Warbucks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah DD Warbucks. Yeah, yeah DD Warbucks, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn me. Uh, Chrissy on that uh, song with. Uh, with Pookie Leroy and them and shit. Bad uh, yeah, bitches. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Pookie, that's mm -hmm. my nigga too. Yeah, shout out yeah, yeah. Pokey, yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fleet of them out there, man, uh, like I say, Honey Banks out there, she chomping yeah, down right yeah, now, yeah. you know what I'm saying, uh, it's, it's a lot of them, but, but let's see, I'm gonna see, let me see, what, what can I give you on the top three, you know what I'm saying, god damn, man, see, he finally, somebody finally got me, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> this shit, man, what you, you like movies? Hell yeah. Alright, what's your, 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 you know what I'm saying, fuck it, you know what I'm saying, because he want to be director and all that, go to yeah. film and that, so what's your top three favorite movies? Top three, man, I like Heat, that bit bad. Heat, okay. Yeah. Uh, shit, man, I like all kind of movies, man, ain't no telling, uh, let me see, uh. You gotta, you gotta throw a funny one in there, I know you oh, got yeah. a funny one. Oh yeah, my favorite funny movie. It got to be like, uh, what's that, uh, Hair Bake? Hair Bake, that one, yeah. Yeah, that bitch right there. <laughs> that nigga said, yeah, that white boy, that nigga put it out. That nigga say, say, that nigga say, he said, shout out Dave Chappelle, you know what I'm saying? He did yeah, that right there. Bake. Yeah, yeah, nigga say, get script, nigga, doctor wrote a whole script for a nigga. Nah, I said, boy, shit. I wish that was me. <laughs> Well, I went to church one day. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. The motherfucking preacher man was in there talking about we gonna talk about you half baked people. <laughs> that nigga do. I say, boy, these Dallas preachers are fool. <laughs> nah, real shit. My, yeah. Like my granddad, he he preached about uh like the dolphin, the dolphin nigga had uh broken the backyard and stole the lawnmower. So he called me and my kinfolk over there. Come on. Come on, grandson, get in the car. That go that nigga right there. Hold on, y'all know I got him. Y'all watch out. Them gloves on. Nigga, I told you about going to my backyard. Oh. And hit him with a bad bitch, right? <laughs> <laughs> Say, check this out, though. He preached about it and said he knocked that nigga out in the name of Jesus. 
<laughs> See, nah. that, and that is our life is in the name of Jesus. Nah, you know what I'm saying? For real, it is. Cause nigga, we remember when we used to go to jail back in the day. That motherfucker, Pastor Ricky Rush, come on, that motherfucker. What in hell do you need when heaven got all that? That nigga stupid. Right, right out the flavor, nigga. <laughs> Ain't that nigga jumping? Huh? I don't know. Nah, he's still over there. He, okay. nah, yeah, he still, you know what I'm saying? He got, you know, he still got the big old mega church. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's still big, you know what I'm okay. saying? It's still ready. We don't want to wish no harm on him because, you know, we don't want nothing in hell. Man. <laughs> <laughs> While we over here heavenly, it's getting high. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, for real. Nah, okay, so. Alright, so. Now. That is some pressure. <laughs> like, 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 I ain't say, man. Hey, we gonna bring the best from the gift. You know what I'm saying? You know, like I just wanna say, man, we love you, man. You know, like I, man, I appreciate yeah. you. You know, you you stand, you stand for history in Dallas. A lot of people don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If they don't know, you need to wake up now. You know what I'm saying? Recognize, go back and do your history. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know, you know what I'm saying? Certified. You know what I'm saying? Like I say all the time, my nigga, in nah. <laughs> I think that was like the longest playing song at that point of time, like. In rotation, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Who was all that at that time when you when you came back? When you with you with Damn D, uh, DSR, DSR. You know what I'm saying. It was it was a couple of y'all that uh. It wasn't too many people. Nah, it wasn't too many. You know what I'm saying. But it was yeah, Chief. You know, Chief was out. Gator Man was out. Yeah, you know, of course that. You know what I'm saying. Of course, of course. But when they, you know, when they started, you know, really taking that wave and that radio really yeah. started, cause you know, yeah. the transition that radio really just cut us out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They yeah. just like, they just, yeah. you know. <laughs> that was at the beginning. They started letting everybody in. Right, you know right, 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 yeah. right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Then Grand Street left. You know what I'm saying? Then, yep. and then they, then they try to pick it back up. You know what I'm saying? Trap Stars and yep. Little Will and yep. all them came back and, you know what I'm saying? Boosted it right back up. And then you know, then Mo Three came back. In. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It boosted it up. But anyway, before we get up out of here, you Shout know. Shout out Big Bink too. Yeah, Big Bink. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Big Bink, you know what I'm saying? Held him down, you know what I'm saying? So before we get up out of here, the floor is yours, you know what I'm saying? You got anything you want to say, any shout outs you want to do? Yeah. I want to say, uh, make sure y'all go to 93gasonline.com and check out the merch. And, uh, y'all see us in the streets, man. Uh, Show us some love. Check out some check out some merch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, go to Spotify. Check out the music. We uh, we in all kind of cities. We just got back from Atlanta. We going everywhere. So we gonna be in theater near you. All right. <laughs> all right. So I always ask this question before I get up off the platform. If you was in my shoes, what question would you ask yourself that I didn't ask? Uh. You asked it too. Where well, I see myself in the next five years. Alright. And you already answered it. So you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So he on the big thing, making movies, you know what I'm saying? CEO, big bossing, you know what I'm saying? So you know, for the rest of y'all out there, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna have, have to have him back, you know what I'm saying? saying? Two times, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Mo. You rest know what I'm saying? Mo. Shout out to the boy Froze on the legendary, you hey. know what I'm saying, staffing history in Dallas, you know what I'm saying. Thank and for you. all y'all, you know what I'm saying, stay lit to life, and we about this. Biatch! Growing up, I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grandma Key Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be.